Welcome back. A new untold story. Episode 328. 328. Mm. What is it? 363. <laughs> when, when, when did you put that on? Bandana. You can't. Can he wear that? I don't know. You want me to reject your reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new untold story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story old or told? Fuck <laughs> no, baby! It's a new untold story. A new untold story. It's a fresh fake untold story. I mean, it's I true. When I said it, it kind of flied, but I don't. I think you look pretty good. It's. <laughs> yeah. we, we, you, can, you, you can wear that, right? I think I can wear it. It's yeah. A, it's a green bandana. What ga- No gangs use green, right? Grove Street from San Andreas. Yeah. Isn't gang yeah. green a disease? Yeah. Yeah, but no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's a bandana, which is urban, but then they chose the font, I think, Garamond, which is very <laughs> yeah. prim and proper. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really, it's like a, it's like mixing Skittles and M&M's. It, right. It, it, it's Who a clash made, on the tongue. Right. Who made this? <laughs> uh, shout out to Preston Moore from Tampa. Preston, Preston Moore. Black dude? No, very white. Uh, okay. Um he's an archer. I might not be able to wear this. He's an archer? He's an archer. He like made... when he's when you're fucking him? <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Yeah, Luke, when you're <laughs> yeah. Uh he's an archer, big fan of Anus and Yak. Hell yeah. And he made a couple more shirts. I'm wearing the one of one cream pie god pink uh pink Oh, it's done right in now. jizz. Oh, it's pussy pink. Done and come. Mm-hmm. He made that. He made That's that. a little bit too dark for pussy pink, I think. Unless it's a sore pussy. Yeah, I like to beat mine up. <laughs> yeah, that's like bubble gum pink. Why are you scratching it? Is it a scratch and sniff? A chewed up. Oh, scratch and sniff pussy <laughs> shirt's a good idea. <laughs> Dude, I sent a snap to a chick last night and said, my bed still smells like your pussy. <sighs> How'd that go? I don't even, I did not ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you guys noticed I'm a fucking grump as of late? Mm-hmm. I'm a real grump. Yeah. Rudy, have you noticed I've been such a grump? What happened? I got ghosted. What? Yeah, I got ghosted. By whom? I broke down. I showed I showed weakness. Oh, and no. two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I've held this in. I DM'd Dario. I DM'd Alex. <laughs> I thought, you're I thought su- we talked you're about surprised? it. We did, I didn't talk. We didn't, did not talk didn't about you this. Would? I said I would. I, I broke down and did it at the bar. You were faded. I was faded. Oh, yeah. You're faded. You were drunk and what you sent. I thought she was going to respond instantly. Did you follow back? Yeah, I followed back. That was that's old news. The flex is over. <sighs> to be fair, we all agree. We all liked the message. She probably hasn't seen it, dude. You're good. What was the message? I'm looking. I'll just go to. My- I don't like this. I don't like this. You don't like what? Don't like what? I don't like that he's being like sad and mopey about. Dude, it, it just sucks. Like it doesn't. You think it kind of does. No, it it sucks bad. No, it doesn't. So imagine the high of getting the follow from. <sighs> I'd kill a hobo to be in your position. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, Alexandra Dario, that one of the. The foremost. Uh, vixens. She's a foremost vixen. Yeah, from the tens. Vixen. From the tens. Yeah. Top tier milk. Yeah. Even okay. when she uh, collabed with Sweeney in the the resort television show, yeah, she, she had was, to be this the ugly girl. She, she, no, I didn't take it as that. I took it as she was like the uh, the veteran. Like, <laughs> I don't want to uh, passing it, passing. It felt, like, it felt like Namath and Sanchez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was still like there was a respect there. You sent her a picture of Stonehenge, and this is still crazy to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good message. I think so too. Yeah, I mean, it, that yeah, warrants a response. I don't yeah, I think it's ghosted. I think you're still in the. Flight. Is there is there a a Twitter? So you badge said there's a scene. See you, she's seen it. No, 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 she no. There would it. be a badge. She hasn't scene. seen it, so not ghosted. Well, she probably sees it in her inbox. She's like, I'm not dealing with it. She probably sees it in her inbox that it's an image, and that's that. I didn't think about that. She didn't even. Know. She probably yeah, thinks it's my little probably, peener. 
Yeah, she probably like <laughs> automatically just doesn't click on the images. I think that there's. Should a I send her a message that says, she if I swear this isn't my her messages. I have the perfect follow. There's a good chance she doesn't handle her messages. Yeah, I agree. I, I, don't, I don't know, man, because she tweets. She tweets like her. Just pictures of bugs and shit. Oh, yeah, that, that is her. Um, <laughs> you sh Yeah, you should send again. Ooh, I don't know. You what think? is the worst case scenario? She just doesn't respond again, and then you're fucked. Should I just send her no, grr? You're fucked if you do that. Like G Y R? N what? Uh, what? Oh, G R R. Oh yeah, yeah. Grr. Don't send that. Grr. Send something. Send something that would appeal to both her manager and her. Her so, uh, barring that it is. Should I manager. send her a picture of me holding my band? Something like uh, business worthy. A band of money? No, you're do doing you that's too many bits. I have a photo of that me is too many bits. So you, <laughs> that's not a bit. <laughs> That's a your bit. bands aren't a bit yeah. no i no you I my bands you. your bands are a bit you texted <laughs> every contact in your phone i just found this new band yeah, no. that was a bit you went no i said i have a band i want you to check out i saw you go to wells fargo take out all of your net worth <laughs> and then you went back five minutes before closing and demanded they put it back in your band. <laughs> that's that you go that far with your band bits i have a band <laughs> had a band she wouldn't care about bands what do you think she'd care about then? You want me to send her a video of me hacky sacking? That, that's too bitty. That's I, all I know. I honestly think you have to hold strong. What is she up to? Alex? Is she, is she she's in the process of filming something. No, I think she's what with her husband. Her oh, she has a husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what are we talking about? <laughs> you know how Hollywood is. It's all publicity. I do not. <laughs> it's all publicity. I think you just, mm. it's not good for like content, but I think you, you do nothing. You can't do anything. You cannot double, you, especially. After I don't want to seem desperate. Uh, I'm team. You can't death. double. You cannot. Double. Rudy, what mindset do you have to constantly live with that? You're so afraid of coming across a certain way. I it's, it's more so just, that seems a lot. It just seems like it, it that's an embarrassment. I'm not willing to burden to go double on zine. But it's Alexandra Daddario. Yeah. Lest we forget. I've moved on. But I think I think doing nothing says more than doing too much. Send like, Woody Harrelson a DM like also you, you have please help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, yeah. Seems like With a that, cool dude. Okay. Be, okay. <laughs> That's a suggestion. What do I do? What yeah. did you say right before it happened? Yeah. Like what did you what Yeah, what line? did you do? Yeah. Just say I'm a cop, by the way. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Woody Harrelson. <laughs> Um, I don't know if this tips, is actually brother. him. He hasn't tweeted since 2017. Yeah, fuck. Maybe on Instagram. He does. He does. Hell oh yeah, yoga. you should Twitter. You should go to Instagram. Follow her on Instagram. Woody Harrelson message. Need he, your help, brother. He's big on grounding. <laughs> Intentionally, would he? He's a stoner. Would he like it if I called him brother man? He's a stoner. Yeah, like he's probably like an old like. Need your help, brother man or brother man? Probably like Rasta. Rasta? My Rasta? Yeah. My Buffalo Is that Soldier. Yeah. He Need your help, Rasta. Weak ass joints. Need your help, Rasta. Something you know all about. Devil emoji? Maybe purple. Purple devil? Purple devil. It goes that or eyes. Yeah. All right. Sent. Oh, he's <laughs> typing back. <laughs> talk uh, to me <laughs> Daddario huh yeah, yeah she's been talking she told me yeah. <laughs> she told me about you <laughs> oh what else is going on so you were in Tampa Mook oh yeah and this is how you got the the shirts and the, then all the merch the CPG yeah. shout out to Preston Moore he gave us a, a whole bag full of goodies yeah I sent him over there okay take a look so which some, one's that I feel like some that he he made himself and this is just... Is that just a camo just shirt? a camo shirt. And I, I actually have this. I'm not going to lie. I've been looking so long for the story in oh, that yeah. shirt, but I can't find it. Maybe it fell off? Possibly. We must have referenced camo. Or it's yeah. really camouflaged. Mm -hmm. That's real tree. Yeah, I wore this once. <laughs> I already have it. Um, <laughs> That's not how um, you accept a gift. Yeah, yeah, I already have that, so... Oh, black cat. Uh, yeah. Oh, but, and black. Oh, but the it says black Uncle Wong. Yeah. Well, Fire. Yeah. Should you be, you. for trivia tonight, should you be all black uncled up? <laughs> what you saying now? 
We should start calling you Hunk. Oh, you're ready. Yeah, dude, you've, oh, you've been getting uh, good. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Yeah. And then the one without the black uncle. Thank you. Yeah. So, that's, yeah that's probably for yeah. the best. That one's cool. Yeah. Shout out to Preston. Um, I'm on the road with Sass. If you want to give me more shirts for the boys, so you um, I'll get them here. You go to your like stand up show, the venue, and he rolls up with just a, a, a sack of gifts. He came in with a bag. Yeah. And they were and like, his, um, his girl had something they were both wearing custom merch so two separate interactions oh those are different, different people. people yes so i see okay uh on the act i said that they might have been sisters and we claim them as sister wife and husband they're actually just married they're married yep. yeah I'm, yeah you start I to look like your they partner sisters yeah because one was a guy oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's a dead giveaway sorry siblings um so yeah, they came in the meatball recovery shirt and the custom cream pie shirt. And then a separate dude, Preston, is the one who gave me that bag full of custom keys. Got it. Yep. And he wants to make something for the Anus Studio. He does uh, Whoa. cutouts. Uh-huh. Yeah, like that'll metal be cool. cutouts. So if we want to give him something to make, uh, he said he's willing to do it for Anus and Yak. What are you thinking, Unc? Uh, metal cutouts. Metal cutouts. I'll send you an example. Sure. Um... We yeah. have we have opinion based trivia tonight. Tonight, uh, we did do. I don't know if we can even talk about this. We were asked to go to that bar for a Stein holding competition to kick off Oktoberfest. Yeah, uh, humiliating. Um, we roll up. The Anus Boys are hosting a Stein hosting to kick off somebody, your October. First fest. off, somebody tweeted that. What uh, was it? You tweeted what from the Anus account. Like, come see the Anus Boys no, host the Stein holding. I didn't say You're that. You're the only was, one with the log. It was posted. I did not tweet that. I tweeted. Was it from, from, the, bar, said, was it from the Barstool you, River North Bar? You no. tweeted something summoning people to come to the bar. We come were, through and say hi? I said, come to Stool River North if you want to wrestle KB. Right. Yeah, it's a funny way to invite people to So come we were going out. to and No judge. one came. No one came. We were the only people in the competition. <laughs> no one came, which would have been fine if it wasn't posted on social media. But it also would have been fine if they we had to compete in the Stein holding competition. We did have to compete in the Stein holding competition. We did. I also posted that a half hour after the event was supposed to start. Ah. Uh, so it was kind of like a bit kind of just yeah. Yeah, it was seven barstool employees holding a, <laughs> a there was mug, one random a guy. No, and the random guy glass. that Yeah, but he wasn't there for that <laughs> at yeah. all. So hopefully tonight's a little bit different, but if not, funny still. I have some of the questions for tonight because I don't think we're filming it or anything. Uh, Kyle, I'm going to ask you some. There's some you wrote that I'm a little confused by. Okay. What rapper is undeniably a rapper? Is most undeniably a rapper. Okay. Like someone who would walk, like a rapper who would you would meet up with at punch bowl social and they yeah. would and you'd be like I, you don't have to ask what they do for a living oh yeah like, well because you know, i recognize them yeah but that that's just that aside like you know like they're they're only a rapper they, like, they could only be a rapper little wayne <laughs> <laughs> little wayne could be like a little he's like five five he could be like a jockey. No, no jockey has dreads. <laughs> no jockey's black. Yeah, what could Lil Wayne be? I think he could just be a rapper. Palm reader? No. Uh, he could only like, be a rapper. So that would be like a seven out of ten. Yeah, it's a good pick. Well, what's your pick? Um probably. Uh I feel like. It's Little Wayne. Little Wayne, yeah. Yeah. That was the only rapper I could think of. This one, I don't... So we want people to answer pretty quickly. It'd be like a hood... Like, yeah. You know like what a what? Mean? You know, like a hood dude. Oh, dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a hood dude. Yeah. Um, pick a fashion accessory shirt shoes combo to go back in time with and aggressively make out with your teacher after school with. Okay, if you could go back... Yeah, this is hypothetical. We, we ran this by in our heads before. <laughs> Go back to the aughts, like 08, 06, okay. 03, 04, okay. 02, 05, 01, 09. <laughs> and you get to make like you get to make out with your teacher, one of your t- hottest teachers. So we'd have the same one. 
and this is opinion based, what is the best fashion accessory plus shirt plus shoe? Did I put combo to make out with your teacher in? But you have to right. fit in. Yeah, like something like what, who's the kid? What would the kid making out with his teacher be wearing? Oh, okay. So you're not going back in time as your age. You're going back as a kid. You're yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going back in time, and your 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 got your brain goes back. In so time. what's your best you, get you're, molested you're, outfit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like that on paper. It is getting molested, but I think that's more of like a a, a boyhood fantasy of making out with your teacher. Yeah. So the. The prompt is like, what is that the cool middle school kid from 20 years ago, 15 years ago, going to be wearing to hook up? So it would have to be something that the teacher is interested in. Like, so how old would the teacher be? Like 26, 28? Probably 28 in 08. So. So what would she like? What do those new kids on the block? Yes. A new kids on the block shirt. 50 year old loves new kids on the block. Yeah. What else do they like? Gen X. Coldplay. Coldplay. Mm. Uh. They weren't even like Survivor Vanuatu. What yeah. Else? So what uh, would you be wearing? Amazing race. Would you be wearing the Survivor Vanuatu uh, um, bandana thing? I was probably just going to do like a black G shock. Um, America's Got Talent. The maybe? iridescent black forces and the free yourself Nike slogan shirt. Did you get arrested in a free yourself Nike slogan yeah. shirt? <laughs> yeah. And it said F yourself. Yeah. Do you have a mug shot? no no but i have that picture on facebook what of me in the shirt you have not accepted my friend request no sir i started a facebook group when i just started called kb no swag fans only and i never did anything with it but that's like my main facebook thing right now it's my main how many followers it was never promoted so it would only be found organically so let me see KB No Swag fans only, 187. Wow. Has anybody written favorite KB moments? 17 comments. We've never talked about this, have we? No, I think we have. Have we? Have we? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. But what shoes would you rock, Kyle? Oh, yeah. I had these ear. Uh, I said the, the fuck your, te- like the fuck your teacher. The, the fuck teacher. your teacher. Yeah. yeah, the clear, the, pr- the clear, uh, Keds. Like you can see the sock on yeah, pro the, kids. The K Swiss with uh, ankle, yeah. ankle socks. That's just good. like the perfectly white K Swisses. Uh, my like mind immediately white. went to Osiris D3. T- tongue's too big. Tongue's too big. Tongue's too big. Mm-hmm. Nobody, yeah, you wouldn't be kissing your teacher in that. I disagree. Have you ever? No, I didn't. No. no. What was the what? No. I think my buddy kissed our teacher in a tap out shirt. Yeah? Yeah. That rules. He went through like a tap out phase and uh, it was a whole scandal, but yeah. Really? Yeah. It was a whole thing. We got out of our math midterm senior year. You're in what grade? Uh, we were seniors. Was he a hot guy? Super hot guy. Yeah. Is Jacked, he still? Still hot. Lives in Tampa. Dudes like that hooked up with their teachers typically don't age well. He's doing them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he looks older. Yeah, because you, you have to look older to hook up with your teacher. But he's also just massive. We got Reed moved here from uh, from New York. We're Reed, here now. Have you ever? Reed, yeah, you've I'll, made out with your teacher for you. You know. Yeah, you do. You look like a guy that has. You were taller. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't really like. I was a late bloomer. So when I was like 18, I looked like I was like 14. Oh, they weren't looking for 14 year olds. No, no. Well, I don't get what they're looking for then. A good time. They want. I feel like if you're doing that, you're a pedophile. Yeah. So you want like a boy. No, 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 no. I think they, they get al- off on like they always being went- a being somebody's first and like teaching them how. The, they they, got they love to playing teach. Playing the role. They, so they weren't pedophiles. They well, On paper, yes. But why would they go after like the eighth grader who looked like he was 17, 18, 19 instead of just a straight boy? I think they're more attracted to being the first and they want somebody that looks like a man. Yeah, they want the buck. Okay. I but think. I feel like if you're going to risk this pedophile stamp, you just... You go all out? I don't want to say that. <laughs> I don't want to like say that. That sounds like advice. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. somebody listening is like, yeah, he's right. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> just go for the kid. Might as well get a six. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. There goes a turd. Yep. Whose shit is that, do you think? 
Big T's. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. For sure, big T's. Uh, today's episode is also brought to you by, I'm going to guess, as I pull it up. Double check. Hello, Fresh. Hello, Fresh. A direct competitor. Yeah. Uh, kick off. It's Hello, Fresh, guys. Kickstart a fresh fall routine with Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh handles all the meal planning and shopping to deliver everything you need to cook up a tasty meal right at home. They do the hard part and you take the credits. A busy fall schedule doesn't always leave you with time to spare. With Hello Fresh, you don't need to spend all evening in the kitchen and whip up some wholesome meals. Hello Fresh is more than just dinners. You can also stock your fridge with easy breakfast, quick lunches, and fresh snacks. Shop Hello Fresh Market and add any of these tasty time saving solutions to your weekly box. When you get HelloFresh, now you're getting top-notch produce since it travels from the farm to the door in less than seven days. You can tell how fresh it is. Uh, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50anus at 50anus and use code 50anus for 50% off plus 15% off your next two months. Really good deal. HelloFresh.com. Thank you to Hello. Fresh. Fresh. Get the chili, cook up that chili, and yep. then if you're from Kansas, add a cinnamon roll. That's what they do. They do chili and cinnamon roll? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Like together a, or I post? say don't knock it till you try it. I've never tried it. I think it's like a Midwest, like a Plains thing. A Plains thing. Cinnamon roll dipped in chili. Oh, they combine. Pork. Yeah. Okay. Sweet, sweet and savory. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, Mook. Yep. You had something to share with us. Did I? You got a message from an old fan, a longtime fan. Uh, I'm blanking right now. I yeah. What message? We got roasted. Ah, uh, Brawley. Old Brawley. Old Brawley. Yeah. Yeah. Brawley, uh, you know, we missed him in New York. The timing didn't add up and he wrote a roast of so all of we, us. I don't want to make fun of this. We were going to go to Brawley's. He, for those who don't know, he's our quadriplegic fan. Right. And we were going to go to his. We were going to take the train, do a show with him from his place. He said he was in too much pain. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. I, we were like, that would have been horrible if he was. But then thinking back, that episode might have been funny where we were just like talking. And you just, and he, oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, we're trying to podcast. Oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'm in the middle of the Hello Fresh. Ow! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to just figure out the levels on that one. Uh, shout, <laughs> out, shout out, Brawley! <laughs> Big shout out, Brawley! But I think that would have made for a pretty good episode. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, brawley sent us uh his roasts he roast. texted me his roasts uh is it a, is it text or a video so it's two selfie videos um he took them with his shirt off <laughs> okay <laughs> kinda, he, already, he already lost the battle <laughs> and uh he texted me today he's like i filmed it again without or with my shirt on. So I we said, could post the one with his shirt on? <laughs> but I, I think I, I told him we'll just play the audio. Okay. Is that okay? Perfectly fine. Okay. I sent him in the group chat. I can play them out loud here, or you can play them out loud from over there. It's up to you. Uh, play it into the mic, and then we'll just overlay it so it'll be clearer for the yeah. listener. So here we Is go. Is this going to be human tongue that we're about to hear? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You Not, can. you know. Not what? Not the... Not the, the Stephen Hawking the keyboard? Stephen, yeah, I don't know. Human talk. Yeah, this could have been sent from anybody. <laughs> you um, guys are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it starts with Rudy. <laughs> and then I believe it goes Nick, KB, and then me. Okay. So I think he's gonna dice me. Here Yeah. <laughs> oh no. No, he 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 comes out pretty hard. He comes out swinging. So here we go. Oh, he's the man. Let's go. Rudy, you won the national championship at Denver. That's pretty sick. But I bet most of your teammates would say you sucked, you couldn't score, and you're only good at the forecheck. And since then, you continue to use your skills, forechecking 50 old gay men's cocks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. This one's got a clean cut. Wait, pause. Pause. Being a 
Yeah, I loved that one. Yes. Uh, the punchline was funny because it's like you being gay with that old Brooklyn dude. And the lead up was just just you sucking at hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your livelihood. So he double truthed you. Yeah, no, that was that <laughs> there was not a lie said in that. <laughs> one zero one zero brawly. Here we go. Quadriplegic can be tough. Hold on. This one's got a clean cut. <laughs> being a quadriplegic can be tough. My legs are pretty much useless, but thank God they're not as useless as Rudy on this pod. <laughs> <laughs> Knew where that was going. It's coming out swinging. <laughs> You're the brawly legs of this show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I timed the ad so you can see. <laughs> yeah, he's been within our lore for like a year now, and the only people to ever roast him were me and you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I, I hit him with a rap battle when we roasted. Oh, him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Here we go. The Lawnmower 4.0 is a cordless body hair trimmer with skin safe technology to guarantee no nicks or cuts and is also waterproof. It is trusted by over 2 million men worldwide. No nicks. No wonder so many people like it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, it really is hard to roast you. Your knowledge of pop culture and your passion for Pokemon and board games allow you to make really funny jokes. You're by far the wittiest person I've ever come across. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I miss the age. I meant whitest person. (laughs) (laughs) Correct. (laughs) No. Skinny legs, skinny arms, glasses. You look like a stick figure drawing my niece made. Yep. Step into a Slim Jim? Nah, you need to step into a real gym, Slim. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That was good. Yeah, I love that. That was a bar. That was good. That was, oh my God. Oh, that rocks. That was really good. (laughs) I think you still got another 30 on Nick. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's actually grotesque seeing you guys together. (laughs) Nick, man, you really shouldn't be seen with shorts. (laughs) That's... Oh, wait. uh, Oh, wait. uh, uh, Hold on. Pause. A quadriplegic (laughs) is roasting my legs. That's how bad Uh my legs are. And it makes sense. That's the second time this week. That's the second time. He's punching down. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I think there's a quick hitter, and then we have video number two. (sighs) It's ironic you guys are from a town called Wheeling, but get no pussy. <laughs> and speaking of Wheeling, I talked to my other paralyzed friends, and we decided to petition to change the name of your town to Walking. <laughs> we don't think it's fair for an entire town to mock us, and we <laughs> won't stand for it. <laughs> oh, he's the man. All right, so that's number two. For number you're one. the man. And I think uh, the next video is... We get pussy, right? No. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You teed off the podcast Dude, with Nick getting ghosted. Kyle, <laughs> Kyle texts me like at like 3 a.m. this morning. He's like, we get pussy, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, because I don't. Nah, nah, man. We're not no across the bar, are we? Yeah. It's not binary, though. No, it's strictly chicks. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we're that bad. I don't know. We might be the. Are we the most pussyless podcast on the Barstool Network? Yeah. Prob- no. Yeah. What, what, what out and about exists gay pat no doesn't i get, can he, yeah, yeah i already based on only things i know he's he's a higher count than mm. me. oh shit yeah all right part two part two here we go the 2023 nba playoffs were the most watched in five years the finals which saw the denver nuggets defeat the miami heat in a five-game series averaged over 11 and a half million viewers more than tripling its competition. No Knicks. No wonder so many people liked it. <laughs> he's, he's one he of got back. me again. Uh, yeah. He got me again. <laughs> I thought I was done. Uh. A lot of people don't realize how hard it is to have a conversation being much lower than everyone else. <laughs> now being in a chair, I realize what Kyle must have gone through his entire life. <laughs> Kyle says he's Polish. But I don't believe him. Because what do we know about polls? 
They're usually pretty tall. <laughs> After I became a quadriplegic, I thought it was really cool you guys had a podcast hosted by people with disabilities. <laughs> Nick, of course, with his rickets. Yeah. A man that's a little slow mentally. But I didn't know KB's disability until recently when he started releasing music and I realized he was deaf. <laughs> oh, no. He's talking shit on KB did what? Yeah, come on, boy. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you gotta stick to rapping King Kunta. Oh Makes yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Walking. Wait, wait, hold on. he hits it. Oh yeah. Death. And, uh, bitch, where were you when I was walking? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. hit it. Oh, it's an apt sentence for him to say. <laughs> <laughs> mm. KB, you got addicted to kratom. I would make fun of that, but addiction isn't funny. What is funny, though, is a butt chin. Sorry, Brandon Walker. <laughs> does Brandon Walker have a butt That's chin? Brandon saying he hates disabled people. <laughs> Wait, does yeah, Brandon does Walker he? have a butt chin? I don't that know. That little, little divot in the chin? I mean, probably. just have which <laughs> just might have multiple. Yeah. Bra um, Brawley keeps receipts. Brawley keeps receipts. Mm -hmm. Wait, Kyle, you're actually pissed right now. Yeah, a couple. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what I come back with. <laughs> uh, and then I just got one more. You guys know. Okay, so quick side note: when I roasted Broly, I did kind of a rap battle. Okay. Me by Broly, but my first name is Matt. KB literally fantasizes all day about squeezing guys on top of me. <laughs> then, uh, sorry, Mook, I couldn't think of any roast for you, man. Psych. You're just a Buster Myrtle look-alike. Rappaport's son-looking ass. Wanna be a little sass. The only thing sweet about your life is hanging out with Zach and Cody, Bob. I think we can all account on you going back to your old job. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh yeah. fuck. He hates you. Yeah, yeah. He smoked me. Yeah. You could clearly tell that he actually hates Rudy and Moo. Yeah, yeah, we were chilling. Yeah. If you saw his face during that bar, he hits it. Oh, oh fuck shit. yes. Pure, pure. Is he shirtless? Shirtless, yeah. Looks Brawly, kinda, good it's shit. Still yeah, that, going. That was good. Got 30 seconds left. At, what? Yeah. yeah. You can't last here much longer, right? No one would even know who you are if it wasn't for Uber and Bud Light. <laughs> you talk on the pod about having queens? That's just repairing your hands is what that really means. Oh, mm. fuck! Yep. Think He's... an Olympic joke is going to offend me? Nah, they got Viagra for that. And here, take some. I got plenty. <laughs> this is how you do a battle rap, chief. Or is it legend or beast? I don't know which one I like the least. <laughs> Man, that so he fucking destroyed he is you, cooking dude. dude. I don't know which one I like the least. I mean, that whole shtick is so overused. Just like your box of tissues and your bottle of lube. Oh my god. Your parents don't know you do comedy and neither do the people at your show. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, let him finish. Than you, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Holy, Holy fuck, fuck, dude. He, I told you last night I got the video and I was like, he smoked me and Rudy. <laughs> Rolled oh, me up. Yeah. Smoke. No, oh dude. my he was God. Like, uh, Nick, you're thin. Kyle, you're short. Mook, I'm going to dismantle every highlight of the past two years <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. He only had two bars for me, dude. I, I was bars, smoked yeah. like a salmon, dude. You got put in a fucking oh, spliff. Yeah. Yeah, no, but that's my dog, though. I let my dog come back. No, I respect. Of course, respect no. Him. This is fair game. No, this he had a, he he did a good job. That was fucking awesome. Shout out Brawley. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's amazing. He hit all the boxes for now me. Now you're though. doing a stretch, like just to just get like I need just, to decompress. Yeah. Dude, a bit. you yeah. say you have queens. That's just you just have a pair in your hand. That's crazy. <sighs> that was a yeah. he hit the accounting bar. That'll be back at work. My God. I mean, the closing bar. The, <laughs> the closing bar. Was <laughs> that was fucking incredible. Nuts. Yeah. Holy shit. Thank you, Brawly. You're the man. Mm. We do have to get you. Well, next time we're in New York, we got to we gotta get him on. Yeah. We got to get him on. Yeah. And where does he live? Long Island. You know where. <laughs> I know this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we doxed Brawley. him on we this did, podcast. We did yeah. dox him. Yeah. Apparently, it's the smallest street in the world, and there's one ramp. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
This is the easiest geo guesser map of all time. Oh my god, it was easy. Uh, uh, he crushed though. He crushed. That Thank you, great. Brawly. Let me knock a game time ad real quick. Yeah. You guys know by now the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports and Anus, uh, created by fans for fans. Uh, they guarantee the lowest price. Super easy to use. Uh, I I bought coming up uh, next month. I'm going to the Vikings at Bears. I bought pretty good tickets on the app. I'm taking Stinky Tony for his birthday. He'll love that. He'll yeah. fucking love it. It's all possible. The I game love time Kirk app. Cousins, yeah. The biggest. You want to come? I got a quarterback rant after this that no one will like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Great. Um, you can also get limited time discounts with flash deals. The purchase process takes two taps, 10 seconds. Once you buy the tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No prints are needed. This app allows you to easily share the tickets with friends via text. So you can get them into the game seamlessly. So you guys don't have to go together. If somebody's, you know, hitting on a chick at the tailgate, you're going in cause you're jealous. He'll meet you in there. It doesn't matter. Skip the hassle. Enjoy the moment. Game time, download the game time app or go to the website, email, enter your email, redeem code untold, UNTOLD for $20 off your first purchase terms. Do apply. The terms apply always. How long do ads have to be? One minute. 60 seconds. Terms do apply. Don't you guys forget about the motherfucking terms. Shout out game time. Shout out game time. I, I was going to say I was going to use game time to go to a Bears game, but they suck. So now I'm going to have to go to something uh, else. The Bears suck, not game time. They exactly. suck compared to whom? The Eagles. Okay. The Chiefs. Uh, almost yeah, every team every in the NFL. Team, yeah, just uh, they might be the worst. Bears Broncos this weekend. That that will suck. I might. No, going, I might go. This Are you going to go? Competitive football. Use game time. Year, best unless in the world. unless me and Dan want to do a stream for the toilet bowl, the Caleb Williams Bowl. I'll go with you. We we'll use game time. Yeah, we'll use game I time. I don't understand. It'll imagine, be fifty cents. Imagine being, and any Anis fans meet us at Reggie's. We'll pregame it. Reggie's rocks. And look at the quarterbacks of that matchup: Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. Yeah. Two great athletes. That's just just getting unanimously degraded. Yeah, it would suck. Russ hasn't got it as bad. Russ should get it as bad. They are some of the best athletes in the world. Yeah. Yeah. They spent their lives as prodigies, savants, playmakers, superstars. Unlimited. Do you think that they lost that ability or that the NFL is just that competitive because it's the best 32 teams in the world? It's that competitive. I th um, I think a lot of it, like Russ has an issue where he, he, he used to have to play hero ball, especially towards his end of his tenure at the Seahawks. I think it's a lot of decision making. Ton of mental. It's a mental. <clears throat> game. Yeah. Right. So I started watching football again this year for the first time in like a decade. And I'm a Jets fan. And I don't un like I, people. What? I did not know that. Grew up a but Jets fan. Families from dad's side of the family's from North Jersey. Kyle's born in ben, Jersey. Yeah, hmm. born in New Brunswick. And Zach Wilson, I don't understand how you could possibly hate him. Really? If it's the team that you're giving all your time you and energy and emotion him? to, and it's this guy out here who, what is he doing? The team to offend you. you. They wasted offend you. No, it's just like I actually want to add this debate. Okay. What did he do to make you hate him? It's their team. They're passionate about. They dedicate their lives, their energy, their their hearts to this team. And when somebody doesn't live up to expectations, he was taken what second overall. When you watch Zach Wilson, are you like he's going? He's purposely. He's done something, or he's hasn't prepared it's, it's, properly. He's doing something. Out. It's got to be coaching as well. Like, but he should be getting better, right? I watch him struggle and I feel bad for him. Yeah, I do too. Because the NFL is so good. Like I watch the Bengals and the Rams, Burrow versus Stafford, two elite quarterbacks. Both didn't really throw a touchdown. Stafford's past his prime, Burrow's hurt. Right, but there's like I don't get like Zach Wilson is probably what the thirtieth best quarterback in the world, fortieth. Um, are the, would you rather have Minshew or Zach Wilson? There's probably some backups that probably a be few. Better. He's probably like the 40th. Best. Uh, let's say 35th. Yeah, you got to put Kaepernick up there. The too. 35th yeah, best Caps quarterback in the world. It's the hardest position to play and maybe all of sports. One of the. Yeah, um, it's there's more quarterbacks. I know uh, football is an American sport only, but there's more quarterbacks than probably some international sport positions alone. Yeah. The equivalent of the 30th best quarterback would be an Olympian, an Olympic track runner, uh, a, ten right. a beloved tennis player like Ben Shelton. But he was projected to be so good, he is getting the fame, 
probably the girls and a ton of money. He's all more, he has to that do. That is what that's the justifier. No, it's not a justifier. I would never shit on somebody like that. I would say they suck, but suck is a weird term. Like, yeah, and he would be the best. Prob if he was in college, he would probably be a Heisman candidate. All right. Yeah, I think it's Russ, a, it's a tough. It's a Russ tough. is much more open for criticism versus Zach because Zach Wilson's young a kid. I think less. I I could never be a huge. I'm like a lot of these guys, like maybe like Jersey Jerry, he might actually hate the guts of some players. I, th I, see, I don't know if I could ever I see do that. people. They actually hate the players. Maybe not even Jerry. I pr there are probably some super fans that could hate players. Right. Like to their core in the wrestling community. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so like Jordan Burrow. Like anyone, uh, just, that was a it long is con. So yeah, we, have, we fell for it. it. Is we so Why do we taboo. always fucking fall for this? It is this? so taboo to say anything disrespectful about the competitive ability of an athlete. Unless they do something, unless they physically spite their coaches, their teammates. That's the athlete point of view. And I, I do agree with you on that. <laughs> Sorry, got to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Burroughs, oh. Kyle Snyder, like if Kyle Snyder is, he's beloved in the wrestling community. He's won uh, world titles and NCAA titles, Olympic titles. And when he loses, it's not like, oh, this guy sucks. When he loses to someone much worse but, than but me. But the thing is, like, it does not have the fandom and it's not a team sport. The, 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 the Jets were Super Bowl. Imagine going into the season. It's Super Bowl or bust. You have the supporting cast. Zach you have the Wilson defense. is a backup. And now, he was drafted to be a star. That's because he did nothing. He did was wrong. He, he yes, he's not. He's he not dominated the Mountain West, <laughs> and he he. I mean, what did he do wrong? Yeah, he's going to take that draft pick, and then he he just the NFL defenses are so good. <laughs> They're so freaking good. But why man. can some players do it? Because <laughs> so, we're comparing how many players are are considered good in the NFL how many quarterbacks probably six just by looking at Twitter when you said nobody would like this I thought you were joking <laughs> well here's the other thing you're forgetting is that do you think Brock Purdy we're comparing him to better? like to genetic anomalies to freak no, show no, you're, forgetting, you're forgetting coaching you think Brock Purdy is better athlete than Zach Wilson we have such a I don't think Aaron Rodgers is Brock a genetic Purdy uh, is, anomaly yes these guys are all fucking anomaly athletes they're the no, top, some of them they're the top the 30 in. to 40 in the world at a position that so many people strive to be good at. But a lot of it is just like the team, like quarterback. It's, it's just crucial, strange that his growth Did you stunted. see Demi Lovato's recent pick? Oh, <laughs> dibs, 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 dibs. I saw the pick. I went out. I hate her. I went out I to saw the bar. The pick too, yeah. I went out to the bar and I found a pin on the ground that has her face on it. That's Kept it. Kept what? It, yeah. Uh, that has their face on it and uh, I, I didn't even see it i got stun locked by selena's pick no 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 selena's pick her her veneers go outwards it's odd demi i see i see a lot of veneer shaming on twitter are you seeing veneer shaming Big uh time. miley everyone's like all oh, the veneers are kicking her ass <laughs> <laughs> the veneers and cheek uh whatever what the, is that surgery uh, buccal fat buccal fat dude it's so hard to like win in life yeah <laughs> yeah, you, do, so, you, do, yeah. You, you just do one thing that's like good for you Dude, and it's yeah. just, you get just absolutely crucified aging as somebody who's a celebrity has to be just the worst, the worst. because then there's going to be articles like just like you this person's unrecognizable so, let me know if you guys have, i've seen what i've seen when uh like a, a instagram model or a very hot girl from 2015 posts a pic now mm -hmm. what did the comments and quote tweets say Fell off. What happened? Off. What they, happened? they always use an NBA player like, uh, like Shaq yeah. for the Celtics. Yeah, they, they yeah. just destroy these. That's women. horrible. Yeah, like a Summer Rae. Do you remember her? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah she was this Colorado, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aurora girl. Yeah, and then yeah, they post pictures. Whenever of like, she posts pics now, it's just crucifying her with comparisons of like athletes at the which is crazy but the thing she is like those people are, does she still got it yeah. are you fucking kidding me i don't know what she looks like dude i'll start barking right now for real no yeah. she's no yeah no, it's it's unfair what's happening to her and i hope she hears this it's unfair it's no. completely unfair but then they have these like resurgences like i don't think selena gomez was really in the conversation and then all of a sudden what she, she get lupus she get jaundice, lupus. What she get? She got, she's a yeah, lupus, yeah. And it had her late weight fluctuate, but then she lost it, and then it stayed in the titty. Yeah, it must have. Yeah, yeah. What's so funny, Mook? 
She got lupus in her titties. <laughs> she, the lupus Something is just in the titty right now. The only person I know that has lupus has huge titties. Nick Cannon has lupus. And that's why he's having so many kids to start an organ farm. Everybody knows that. I Yeah. But I, I no, I think she just has it centralized to the titty right now, which is good. It's contained to the titty. <laughs> So the good news is you have lupus, but it's just lining. in the titty. A silver just lining. Tatters. A silver lining. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'd suck them dry, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Demi, the Demi photo did it to me. I still haven't seen the Demi Not photo. Me. Yeah. Uh, the Scarlett Johansson AI pics have all my attention right Dude, now. Dude, yeah. I, uh, I know they're fake. I, I know they're fake. Nadu, the I think, tweeted great rack to the AI. I saw that. <laughs> he did. I, it was uh, Scarlett. It was Jennifer Lawrence. Right off the bat, I saw J-Law. Or what is her name? Jennifer Lawrence, yeah. Megan. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, it was, I knew it was fake. Megan Fox and uh, Hermione. She was the first celebrity to like pizza, I which drove me crazy. Yeah. Billie Eilish got AI'd too. Really? So AI is just making them like slightly... I think they're just putting them in outfits it's like AI big body her. That yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Can somebody do that to me? Billy Eilish has Can somebody AI a stacked mook. <laughs> you don't have to AI that. Yeah. <laughs> you are jiggly. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. What, what the fuck, Rudy? <laughs> you are, I'm yeah. trying to slim down. No, you're doing good, dude. I mean, you're off meatballs a little bit. I think you kind of been quiet about that, though. Yeah, I'm off the balls. Uh, yeah, you know, he's a meatball enthusiast. Oh, did you see that on Twitter last night? What? what? Philly Meatball? No. Do you guys know this Talking girl? about James Clark from The Bachelorette from Winnetka, Illinois. What? What do you... What? Yeah. You a Bachelor guy now? No. <laughs> okay. Who's the meatball chick from Philly? I saw that she had a crying mugshot, but I don't know who it is. So basically, last night, Philly got looted. Yeah, they looted an Apple store. They looted everything. Aren't like middle school kids just robbing Wawa every day? Yes. Mm -hmm. And apparently there's this influencer in North Philly. Her name is uh, Philly Meatball. I'm going to send you her profile right now. She is a trip. What's she do? And what's she get arrested for? I love for? how every influencer she went, she was live on Philadelphia, Instagram. their first name of whatever their online profile is Philly. Or like is it, it has to have the city name in it. They're proud. They love saying that. Like Meek Phil, Philly Meatball. Meek Phil. Meek Phil. That's his name. What? Meek Mill? No. Is it, Meek Phil's Meek not Phil's his name. Meek Phil's from Queens. Yeah. What? Meek Phil's from Queens. Yeah. Meek Phil is just actually Meek. His name's Meek? <laughs> no. He's like no, actually Meek. Like, like a, he will inherit the earth. Me Meek is Meek is shy. Brawley's roast is really coming to fruition. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, basically, this woman Philly Meatball went live on Instagram last night and like broadcasted the entire looting that went down. And she is just a big, big, uh, a big queen. I'll leave it at that. Okay, let me a big queen. Off. Yeah, I put her Instagram in the in the group chat but so she live she live streamed the looting yes oh she's a she's moving second in chess a big black queen <laughs> yes <laughs> oh look at her on the four-wheeler her name is deja <laughs> what's her last name vu uh it's just deja main page yeah, oh that's a sick name her brand is ain't nothing brand oh she's awesome that's she's tight. on only fans you can catch her her pinned i mean her pin posts are just amazing Check her out. So what does that have to do with meatballs? Yeah, what is yeah, what Her like street name is Philly Meatball. Got it. Cardi B fucks with her. How, yeah. Okay. Oh, here she is in the tub in the brownest water I've ever seen. Ever seen, dude. Wait, that water is dark. I'll I'll loop all these pictures in, but yeah. Oh, but wait, she's wearing a <laughs> She's wearing nothing. a beanie in the bathtub. Yeah, ain't nothing. That's what I'm going to have to get one of these beanies. Mook, you got it. What, what's your deal? What's your deal? <laughs> what do you mean, what's my deal? Yeah, what's your deal? Looking at me all devilish. The over way there. you answered that answered my question almost. Because <sighs> you, know you knew what I meant. I sort of but know. The, but the cadence in your, with your response, what, what's your deal? I don't know what my deal is, man. What's I, going on? I think you got pussy. I did you? Yeah, you got. Yeah. He's wearing he's wearing sweatpants today, and his dick's moving differently. <laughs> it's moving differently. You actually like zeroed in it, on my cock. I know. Like, it let out a yawn. Yeah, that dick's on IR. Um, you know, I'm I'm 
I'm not going to comment on pussy or no pussy. We're a no pussy podcast. We are. Make you would ruin it. You would ruin it. Mm-hmm. I will say, regardless of that, my Chicago Queen deal, I did just get a picture of uh, from Peyton of the chicken from Family Guy. So she is in Chicago right now. Oh, she's in it. In, oh, no. She with wants Plan to beat, B. She wants to beat that ass. I think she's coming for a slap. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, she's going to get you. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. going to get you. Do you have any updates? Life updates? Life updates, uh, no, not much. Kind of just, uh, I ate Chinese food last night. That's a life update. (sighs) This is a good episode we're putting out, boys. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. Who we should be sorry to is Manscaped. (laughs) We are following up that. Mm -hmm. Uh, You guys know Manscaped already for your beard, for your chest, for your bush, for your gooch, for your ass cheeks, for your back. Anywhere you grow hair, you don't want it. Uh, Fresh ball falls upon us. Boys. (laughs) What are we doing? (laughs) Somebody get Mr. Scaped on the phone. (laughs) I like having fresh ball. Fresh ball fall is upon us. You need to be in the festive spirit. Light a candle. Get some pumpkin spice and make sure your balls look nice with the sponsors today's show, Manscaped. Nature may clear the leaves on the trees, but you'll need Manscaped help to be ready for the sweater weather. It's time for nice flannels and cozy socks, but we can't forget to trim our balls. Starts with the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, the advanced skin safe technology, plus the lawnmower is a technical masterpiece. 7,000 RPM motor. That's insane. Is that rotations per minute? It is rotations. Good per Lord. Uh, built in 4,000 K LED spotlight. So you can see it. You can do it in pitch black crop preserver, ball deodorant. Of course, the ball reviver all comes in the performance package, the ball spray toner. Uh, you prevent stink. You prevent stick, uh, soothing aloe vera. How's it feeling? Good. Performance package 4.0 caps it off with two free gifts, the manscape boxers and the shed travel bag. So you can move around. You can, you can shave your balls in a fucking hotel. Uh, right now, you can get 20% off and free shipping with code ANUS, A-N-U-S, at manscaped.com. 20% off, sh- free shipping, manscaped.com, ANUS. As the leaves fall, make sure you have it all with manscaped.com. Thank you, Manscaped. I used mine today. Did you? To get the handlebar going. Your mustache? Mm-hmm. You lost a bet and had to do that? Not a bet. I just had a sub goal where on my Twitch, if I got a certain amount of subs... Some random. Oh, I have to get a really popular mustache. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I look good, but uh, it, uh, some oiler just showed up last night, just mm. and just was just gifted like, Montreal. <laughs> no, like Edmund- an oiler, oiler Edmonton, like, Edmonton. Yeah. Like a oiler is like a Twitch term, like a like a for someone that gifts a lot of subs. Oh, an oiler. Yeah, like a oil- like an oil baron. Yeah, exactly. So but he was just he ne- he he was messaging. He's like, I've never been on Twitch. I don't know how this works. And he was just gifting subs at an alarming rate. And uh, fucking shout out to that guy. Yeah. Uh, This week, we are also filming episode one of The Put On. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rudy was proactive and reached out to a lifestyle streetwear company Mm -hmm. in Chicago. Yeah. And we will be giving Mook a makeover. And what we what Mook told me is he has a date directly after we're filming this. Yeah. So back to Kyle's point, I am I can't, kidding. I, I big, can't. You, you're like pl- you have dates planned days in advance. We're both busy. I'm doing stand up like every night out here. I'm, but now you're both are on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. So Friday night, we're and doing like a real date. You're like going to be in down. your threads, too, for that Rudy picks out for you. Yeah. And you're going to have black hair and a nose stud. Yeah. <laughs> That's Nick's portion of it. I'm going to just handle yeah. handling just the clothes. I think and you I'll look good with a little yeah. stud. I think you honestly would. I do too. Yeah, I think it'd be cute. I, would you rather do no stud or dangly cross? There's a right answer. Dangly cross. Nope. <laughs> that is not the right answer. Is that not the right answer? Is dangly cross I mean, not I'm cool going to look ridiculous either no, way. No, you're not. You're going to look cool. With a no stud? No yeah. stud is fuckable. Dangly yes. cross is a, is, is a problem. What is a no stud? The little diamond. Oh, yeah. I just like the little. It's going to look like I have even more skin cancer than I already have. No, no, dude. no, no you're no, going to no. look really good. I promise you. I think we got to tan you up a little bit. Yeah. My goal for this video is to, I just want that montage for like a 2000s movie of like you walking out of the dressing room. We're like, no. And then you go back in. You walk. I want that crazy, mm. stupid love style. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're Steve Carell. You rock New Balances and shorts. Yep. Which yep. is cool now. Look like a PE teacher. I'm not going to. I'm not going to troll you. I want you to look like Feidelberg at the end of this. Yeah. I'm not going to troll you. I'm. We're going to do our. And it's not just me. It's like, not a troll. We're going to do our best to really get you some cool pieces. And I do want to take you to a black barber. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can do that. Yeah, we're going to get you a nice fade. But like I said in previous episodes, I mean, the coaches, you you put me on the field, I'm going to make plays. So just every put time. me in a, put me in a position time. to win and I'll make mm-hmm. a fucking play. And your meteoric rise is going to continue. Yeah. And also your personality, regardless of how ridiculous you may or may not look, your personality will carry. I want the last scene of the put on is you walking into the date with your new fit. I'm going to lose this girl. No, yeah. Not. <laughs> we did 30 no, yeah. no 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 this yeah. is not we did 30 minutes about you being a cream pie god you're wearing a pussy flavored shirt yeah with cream pie god on we it. we publicly spoke oh we met these we met a dude at uh at bird's nest wings and he was like yeah we found that girl yeah and then he just showed you her instagram oh really yeah yeah so i guess we gave too many details but like yeah like if she doesn't care about us publicly talking about filling up her cooch with your seed oh this is light work this is light work this is a filler episode no Uh, (laughs) agenda rude boy (laughs) yeah i think um all that aside, because I can't really think about just going into that with like, you know, looking how I'm going to look. Uh, she's going to meet the boys Friday. That's right. Mm-hmm. We're linking. We're linking. Us? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Rudy? I am too. What? Is- Play nice. <laughs> what? Play I'm nice. I'm giving you the pass. To what? What pass? To do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what? The shit. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle's in charge. Why are you the one giving the pass? He's in charge. It's big unk. That's big unk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Will you will you put on the black uncle shirt and the bandana and go into the bar? Oh man. Going into a bar with a bandana probably isn't allowed in Chicago. Go off, Unk. Oh, speaking of that, we found a doppelganger of Nick. Oh <laughs> shocker. No, this one is. <laughs> because he's black. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, we found black me. Um, you really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Organically? Yeah. It just sent Where? It, sent it in the group chat. Oh, you have a pig? <laughs> oh, <let me> see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can tell he's into anime. Holy shit. Yeah, we f- yeah, we found <laughs> we found Black Me. <laughs> yep. Uh, he loves Pokemon Go. Yeah, I, can, yeah. I know that. He's, um, he is more, more. Uh, he is me. <laughs> yeah, dude, he really is. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. That's a good. That's a cool guy. No, I. It's black me. Is that a green screen on his? What is on his roof? Is that a flag? <laughs> <laughs> He's at a museum. Uh, I think uh, that's a bedroom, Mook. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Nick, um, my the two filters art. away. <laughs> <laughs> the same <It's> beard. <laughs> the same. <laughs> you like that? It doesn't even he's the best part is he looks just like you with sharing no f- similar features as you. Dreads, different nose, different lips. But he looks like me. Different beard, different color. It looks just like you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> what are you upset about? No, it's just funny. It I'm jealous. What is there to be jealous about? He looks like you. I want to be black. Would you Freaky Friday with him? Agreed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. In a heartbeat. When you guys were kids, do you guys think that like Freaky Friday and stuff like in movies that actually no. happened? No, 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 never. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, okay. I, <laughs> All right. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't go in my lawn and try to do kamehameha. I did do that. Okay, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> I did do that. <laughs> I was, but I knew it wasn't going to happen. Like I knew the chances were probably if, like four percent. But what if that I was actually a Saiyan? But what if? You, but yeah. How did you ever get into anything nerdy? Uh, we liked Crazy Bones. That wasn't nerdy. That was yes, just, Crazy Bones was nerdy. Not in second grade. That was just like. Uh, Guns and football. No, <laughs> that was, was crazy into, bones. I was into guns too. So guns crazy bones. I did have guns, footballs, like high powered, 
um, ATVs. Go yeah, so nerdy stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Dupont. Registry. Did you ever have Pokemon cards? <laughs> First grade, I collected them based on the look. Never played. That's what I did too, and then I got ripped off. And then uh, my mom drove me to the kid's house, and I stood outside hoping he came out, and he never did. Yeah. I uh, ripped off a girl in my confirmation classes to get uh, my, yeah, my confirmation classes to get her Charizard. So the Charizard I have now was bought in blood. Yeah. What did you trade? Uh, the full art tops cards over the actual legit Pokemon cards. I gave her like five holographic of those for one original Holy Charizard shit, but then I don't feel shit. bad because every time I would yawn in class she'd in my throat she'd breathe down my throat like that I, I guess her family did that like whenever you were yawning at the dinner table <laughs> into their in their mouth and it pissed me off Ew. I had yeah. the reverse oh. I had a kid make a dumb trade and then before he left he stole the card back because he realized how bad the trade was fuck yeah and I like him what yeah I like him fuck him dude <laughs> that was my first op He's fucking oh that wasn't my first op what are you allowed to say that i don't know <laughs> that's why i didn't really say it. i kind of only kind of said it <laughs> you're allowed to say that it's better than the alternative a, i saw a post on call her daddy subreddit yeah what you say and As i one think does. you check it in i think there's at least a 30 percent chance that the person being talked about in this post is in this room 50 percent chance they're in this building so I have been with my boyfriend for about a year and there have been a few weird signs that lead me to believe he may be secretly gay slash bisexual. If anything, so that I, rules me out. If anything, <laughs> I love and care for him so much that I would want him to embrace that about himself instead of feeling like he needs to stay with me. But I'm on the brink of ending things because he has been such a bad boyfriend to me recently in a really secretive sort of way. Let me explain my reasoning. Number one, he almost overcompensates with his masculinity. For example, he has no close friends that are women. <clears throat> he is very obsessed with his guy friends. He is weirdly obsessed with barstool sports and he wants to enlist in the army one day. So right off the bat, I don't think that's like a red flag for Gatum. N- no. No, overly obsessed with your guy friends. Like no close. I don't have any close friends that are women. Very obsessed with your guy friends. Weirdly obsessed with Barstool Sports. M- maybe a little bit. Yeah. And he wants to enlist in the army one day. One day. How old are they? Yeah, that's like a twenty-three-year-old thing. They're twelve. It's in like the preteen suburb. <laughs> <laughs> Two, I have been told by his guy friends that when he gets too drunk, he whips his junk out and starts hitting everyone in the balls. I, I, I'm talking pants down to his ankles and holding his junk in his hand when nobody else is doing this. Apparently, even when he doesn't whip it out, he still tries to nut tap his friends. Again, I don't think this is a gay thing. No, but I don't like this guy. He sucks, but this is just like a dude. Like, he's, yeah, he's he a might dude. Be, uh, okay. Where, what, he rarely wants to be intimate with me. Oh. And when he does, he sometimes has a very time, hard time getting hard. But Oof. when he does get hard, he finishes really quick. Not gay. Not gay. Finishing quick is straight. But when he does, um, there's little to no foreplay and he doesn't go down on me ever because he thinks it's weird. If he's drunk, there's little to no chance he'll get hard. That's just... I don't it. think gay. Not That's gay like, yet. And that, then that she, transcends She sexuality. said... Um, He's been such a bad boyfriend to me. I don't think any of the, like, maybe not eating the pussy. Or getting naked and and hitting guys in the balls. That's not a bad boyfriend to her. And then the last one is he's very secretive about his home life. His dad is very strict and potentially abusive. Oh. So we all assume it's that. But he has a lot of built up anger that comes out when he's drunk too. Like to the point where he starts fights and stuff and will end up screaming trying to punch people. Jesus. Ruling? I don't think he's gay. Not gay. I don't think he's gay. I don't even know if he's that bad to you. Well, you, that's you, tough to say. But based on what I know, he just doesn't eat your pussy. But none of that is a <laughs> is him being a bad boyfriend. Other than that, yeah, right. Well, yeah. I mean, you could still be a good boyfriend and not eat. I don't pussy. think he's gay. You could be the best boyfriend in the world, not eat pussy. In my opinion. Hmm. Why do you think it's somebody in this room? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> no. I don't even have a girlfriend. I don't, I don't even have a girlfriend. Yeah. 
I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't think that's a, a gay boyfriend. I do tear my pants off and sack tap the homies, though. I, yeah. Yeah. Man. But I don't have a girlfriend. He's so probably 22, know. 23. Yeah, he's getting really I wasted. Think that's a, uh, yeah. S- think tap he, and sack. Yeah. Sounds like most guys. It like. isn't this person, but that sounds like White Sox Dave. It might be White Sox Dave. <laughs> it's not him. That's what I'm saying. I think it's, it's somebody here. It's not White Sox Dave, but that sounds like White Sox Dave. Uh, White Sox Dave probably likes eating pussy, but his face is too prickly for like the chick. That would probably be horrible. He probably brings a fork. Yeah. 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 <sighs> not me. It ain't me. I'm, I'm straight. Yeah. No. I, yeah. <laughs> That's the dead giveaway for me. <laughs> now I'm like very convinced it's one of you. No. You know our personal lives. I'm close with my dad. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. that I, leaves. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't know. I just, it, Let's see. Mook. Uh, Mook. He was very into barstool sports before he worked here. Yeah. Um, you hide things from your parents. Yeah. I think it's some. There's a, I mean, a chance somebody, the person in question, is listening. Oh yeah, there is a good chance. And of I that. want, I want a rebuttal. Yeah, prove yeah. prove to us you're not gay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't have a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I have a queen. But would you be devastated if Rudy fucked her brains out? I'd kill myself. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd end it all. I would never do that. Uh... <laughs> Are you referring to yourself? No. Okay. What the, what the, there was a quadruple homicide in front of my building yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> there was like three ambulances. There was two ambulances and 12 cop cars. Did you hear the homicide? Th- wait, there was only three ambulances? So the, the Uber pool? Yeah, somebody probably doubled. Or there was like one that was just really, really homicided. That was <laughs> like could sh- sit shotgun in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> Conjoined twins or something. Yeah. Wait, so you texted us and you're like, something's going down. I said, this looks good. You said it's a tr- my, in my pop- dry, wry humor. I didn't mean that at all. You it said, looked quite bad. And you said, this is probably a training exercise. No, he. Uh, I think Mook said that. Yeah. Try to console me. Which has anyone ever seen a cop training exercise? No. Yeah. They do it in like small towns. Yeah, but not at my apartment. No. My apartment's for living, which is the opposite of what those four people did. Yeah, you said quadruple homicide and KB ha ha it. Yeah, <laughs> he did. It was pretty mm-hmm. pretty hard. Uh, yeah. No, I don't want to get made fun of for making fun of the dead. It was not a quadruple homicide. I looked. I listened to the police scanner. It was, from what I see, it was kind of overkill. I think it was just a domestic <laughs> dispute. But they brought out the boys. Mm-hmm. That's good, because I almost sent in the group text the halo for quadruple homicide oh. sound bite. Yeah. what's the kill streak Kill-tack. award for, for four? four uav so three is uav uav five is predator missile predator missile yeah i think four might be care package yeah no, i think three is care package three is uav oh yeah you're right yeah yeah excuse me yeah gamer fake and you got harrier Yep, that's it. That's yep, got Harrier. Got dogs, Harrier, and then it goes to... Chopper AC, Gunner, Chopper AC-130. Gunner, AC-130. When you get that AC-130, you are humming. Yep. Humming. This is Call of Duty? Yeah. 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 There's no better feeling. We got you a gaming setup, Kyle. Kyle actually approached me. And he was like, I really want to do another gaming night, which kind of stunned me. We're going to run to a micro center Why? either yeah, tomorrow or Friday, whatever day we're not filming to put yeah, on and get, get some PC, PCs. Yeah. yeah, we'll get them. Cool. All right, let's uh, go to trivia. Trippy right. time. Thank oh, you guys. Yeah. Today was episode 363. Oh, yeah. What do you Fuck got? Fuck you. It's uh, an alternative area code for Nassau County, Long Island, mm-hmm. Long Island. Um, what was that? Yeah, here's the deal. You guys <laughs> fucked up. You guys tried to redefine what towns and cities are. Your towns or your biggest town is Hempstead with 700,000 people. Your towns aren't towns. Your towns are just regions. And then within the towns are hamlets and villages. And then cities are a separate thing. Hamlets still exist? You only have exist? two cities. They have hamlets within towns. The towns are, are not towns. When you think of a town, you think of a small city. Their cities are regular cities, Long Beach and Glen Cove. But then they have towns, Hempstead. Um, you guys fucked it all up. That's all I'll say. <laughs> uh, you're going to get destroyed online for that. The the town. Yeah. What else is uh, Hemp- Hempstead? Yeah. 
That's all I got. That's yeah. Big shout out to them though. NASA. Um, what else do we know about it? I don't know anything. The Islanders haven't been good in 20 years. You they might call, make the playoffs this year, right? You have such a big county, probably over a million people. Well, colleges, Hofstra. Mm. Where's Manhattan College? I don't think that's there. Yeah. I think that's where Ken Jack like went. Like a very, uh, very like intensely local group of people living in a bubble refuse to acknowledge that there is another country yep. or that the rest of the country is living in yeah, a different Yeah, you're born, way. raised, and die there. Yeah. That's about all I said. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Mook, any housekeeping? Uh, no, but I did want to see if you guys like this. Uh, predictions for the weekend. Anything, either events or games or... Mook, you're going to fall down over eight steps. Over eight. Either once or four steps twice. Okay. So it's but like you're going to be, he's down. going to be upside down. So your face is going to be the lowest thing to the ground, but, but your pants, but you're still, your pants are still going to, they're still going to be up around your ankles. Fall down your pants are going to fall down. You're going to fall down. It's going to defy your pants physics. are going to fall down up. Up. Yeah. yeah. That, your that, pants your are going to fall gonna be around your ankles while you, while you fall down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. You're going to fall down a flight of stairs, but your pants are going to shoot up. Yeah. You guys have seen this happen before. I saw it happen at Wrigley. Yeah. It's going to be elastic to new. Every time Mook falls, his pants did yeah. you snag eight early because i think that line might change the line changed it's uh eight. it's it's gonna be eight okay and it's gonna be after your date okay and then she's gonna be repulsed pound the over yeah I, the pants are gonna be down so i mean that's at least one right yeah, i guess you're right i guess you're right um anything else weekend predictions i'm gonna get fucking twisted off booze <laughs> i'm gonna get back on the fog yeah on the fog? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Weed. Oh, yeah. I'm jumping back I've in. I've been enjoying it's that. It's been over two years. Yeah. I'm going to Whoa. I'm going to get back in. Yeah. Yeah. Off Adderall. Oh. That's good. Yeah. Off what Adderall. are you going to do with all your leftover? I don't have any. Uh, I quit because I, was, I, I didn't even care it. what you were going to do with it. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm back. I'm going to get back on the fog. I'm going to get back on the fog. Kyle accidentally added me to a group chat when he was asking somebody else for Adderall. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've been and naughty. they were like, why is Nick in here? Yeah, I was embarrassed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you want something bad when you when you search the name and just text whatever pops up. <laughs> you see that it was Ann Nick. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. I <laughs> I let it go. And I didn't bring it up anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right. God bless. Shout Bye. out. Shout out Brawley. Big shout out Brawley. Huge shout out Brawley.